Right, hello, uh, welcome back. Today we are back in Maya. Another little quick tutorial, um, answering a question that someone has sent in uh, about tracking. So, um, I'm just going to create a quick cube and animate it. Let's do something very simple. Um, so, a little cube comes up in the air and spins around. So, the question was, how can we track a specific vertex on that cube? Well, if we just create a locator, we can snap that. That work. Locator. Snapping. There we go. Um, that locator. Now we can just literally parent it to the cube. This would work. Now, wherever that cube moves, that locator is going to go with it. Um, obviously, it doesn't have any keyframe data of its own to export. Well, if we select it up in the edit menu, we have this option for keys and bake simulation. And what that's going to do, we open up the option menu here, um, it's going to bake everything that's keyable over here um, every frame. And we're just going to create a series of keyframe animation. Um, and now every frame that locator is keyed, uh, ready to export to After Effects or, or whatever the uh, the reason you wanted to do this was. Now this is great, this works really well for simple animation. Um, there is a problem however, if you're trying to do stuff a little bit more complex. So if we just go into animation, deformance and create something like a twist. By just key the end angle. Change this. And um, that to my cube. It moves with it. Okay, that makes sense. Now and then, if I change my twist here, you can see, hopefully, it's right that the locator is no longer in the right place because the deforming is happening with the vertices and the locator is just parented there to the main transform so we're not getting tracking of that object well there is a way around this or a, an alternative method we could use is a little bit fiddly um, if we go into effects select our cube can create some hair sounds a bit weird um, let's delete the actual hair don't need this let's create one follicle so Um, so why are we doing hair? What's that about? Well, hair, um, the follicles, the position of them is defined by the UVs. So as the cube is deforming, the UVs aren't deforming, the UVs aren't changing, so the hair follicle position will stay correct. Um, if we zoom forwards, you can see that that position there is staying relative on that cube. Um, and we can change the start position. Not typing. Okay. Can change the start position. So it might be a little bit fiddly to work out exactly where the position of the vertex is you want to track, but obviously we can open our UV window and um, try and work that out. So, for example, 0.5.5 0 .5, 0 .5 is here. That's the position we're tracking. So let's say 0 0.5 and 378. 0.5.38. There we go. That's kind of the corner. I mean, obviously, you could fiddle these numbers, get it exactly where you want. But now, now we have this follicle. Um, as that is moving along, we have a an object that's following the right position. So simply, we can create another locator, select our follicle, then the locator, and just do a parent constraint. This locator. it in the right place to start with, did I? There we go. Okay, let's try that again. So, create a locator, put it in the right place, yeah. then do a parent constraint. Parent constraint, that now locator is moving along with that vertex, and now we do our bake simulation. We have tracked that forming vertex position accurately. Um, 
as such. And you can use that now for any animation. Obviously, we can delete all these. And but it's baked, all that data is there. So a little bit of an extra setup. Um, I look, did look through all the constraints here and, and things. And unfortunately, um, all of these kind of constraints don't work with a deforming object. Um, but luckily for us, hair systems um, defined by UV, so therefore we can do the um, is this trick here and get that that as allocator. So um, hope that's helpful. Um, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, etc., let me know, and I will see you all next time.